When I first heard about the Battle of the Sexes format, I thought, this is an amazing idea. And the fact that it's 10 women, 10 men, both evenly matched, I thought this has never been done before. It's super fresh, it's exciting. And I really like the fact that it's teams playing. It's not just uh, men versus women in a kind of individual sense. It's a team competition. And that means that there's a very nice environment and we have a great team spirit. I always feel more pressure when I'm playing for a team because when you're playing as an individual, you're kind of okay to do whatever. You know, if you lose, you lose. But if you lose in a team event, you really feel as though you've let the team down. But then on the other hand, you know, the positives are so much better. When you win for the team, you kind of feel like high-fiving absolutely everybody. And you kind of say, yeah, I got this for you guys. I think it's great that the teams are evenly matched. Um, it's really innovative and it takes away a lot of the traditional barriers that women have when they play against men. You know, traditionally women are, are in the minority and here it's balanced. And uh, also because they're evenly matched, it just depends more about styles. And uh, you can see that the men are not able to kind of gang up on the women and draw out the games because it's even Stevens. Everyone is playing on the same field and now it's going to be about style. I think in order to solve the gender issue in chess, um, one of the things that we can do is have more tournaments like this. And the great thing about Gibraltar is that it gives a lot of publicity to women. And because women are playing, more and more women want to play. And it's like a nice little community. And uh, a lot of the times in the chess world, the big problem is that women are achieving things. It's just, it's not necessarily being recognized. And, but having tournaments like this is fantastic because it brings a spotlight on the women. And uh, you know, you get to enjoy the chess for what it is rather than just always having, you know, these issues of gender, so to speak. I'm, I'm incredibly passionate about gender equality in chess, and it's a topic really close to my heart. You know, wherever I can, I give my time willingly to help girls, to help women, to help their voices be heard. Um, it's important because the numbers of women playing chess is actually so few. And uh, if we were to work very hard on increasing those numbers by you know, hold, holding more tournaments like this, hosting publicity events and just giving recognition and just encouraging women to play and to enjoy the game at whatever level, then uh, I think we're going to see a nicer and friendlier chess environment. Well, away from chess, the impact that this could have is that it could just simply just show that uh, women are not biologically different to males. It's just a question of being given the opportunity and given the incentive to play and to perform things at the same level as uh, men. Now, I definitely think that uh, if the chess world were to increase its numbers and also to increase the standard of women playing and also to make it much more accessible, increase women playing chess as a hobby, for instance, then this will definitely be a showcase for showing the world in general how women can break down those barriers. I think the team that will win this tournament has to be the women. You know, we have a great team spirit. We have a fantastic captain in Pia Kramlin. And uh, we have this great WhatsApp group. Yesterday, um, in round three, we were a little bit down because, you know, after all, we lost our first match. But, you know, the team got together, sent each other some funny gifts, and uh, we ended the night laughing.